Now, so we are going to melt the shea butter. I just put in a little small amount. It's our first time making our moisturizer. Oops, I'm going to burn myself. Now, take that out. Now, so it has melted, so you see a little bit there, a little bit of liquid there. And now we're going to get our other ingredients. I'm going to use some aloe vera. I'm going to use some sweet almond oil. I'm going to use a little bit of orange essential oil. It's uplifting. It's just, I just like the smell of it. Just give it a nice smell. And the piece de resistance. My snail slime. Now, so uh, the shea butter has cooled a little bit, so I'm going to add a little bit of my other products. I'm going to do the aloe vera because of its healing properties, and the one I have has extra cucumber, witch hazel, and calendula, which are all very healing, healing properties. So I'm hoping that's going to calm the skin flare up. And then with the orange, as I said before, uh, has the anti-inflammatory and antiseptic qualities. And also the snails will have an antiseptic quality as well. That's how they keep the snail slime, because they protect themselves with the, the different slimes that they produce. Um, just to go back on the snails again, they produce different types of secretions. So you have the snail trail that we're all used to seeing and that's what helps them adhere to surfaces when they're climbing up and they like to sleep kind of attached under rocks if you see them on the outside and um, my guys like to lie under the lid of, of their box and when they get anxious they secrete create a secrete a foamy so you can see that the way it is separated more foamy version and that's coming from deep within their connective tissue so that it can have a protective uh, quality to our skin too so we'll just see how all of that goes so back in a sec mix it all up and just keep going it's such a small amount there's no point getting a whisk out or anything like that it's just very very small and i have a little container to put in it smells amazing even before i put the orange in it smelled really really good so i'll just keep going hopefully i won't get carpal tunnel syndrome from this Yeah, so I mean this is our first time making it so we'll you know we'll keep up reports of how it's going for treatment in general I just it's just really just to treat the acne and then maybe see as a general skin moisturizer so I just want to take check on the texture oh it feels really really nice doesn't feel greasy smells amazing actually that seems really really lovely now so i'll just mix it up a bit more and it's all about calming the skin Just to give us, uh, remember, you know, you don't know what hidden things are put in the products that are bought. I mean, I was horrified to see that, you know, like acne treatments, the Roaccutane, you have to make sure you don't get pregnant when you're taking that drug. And the snail slime is made up, I think, something like 97 or 98 percent of hyaluronic acid, which is one of the main ingredients of Roaccutane. And coming from the snails, it's nice and natural. And you're not putting any chemicals then into your body. Now, so I'm going to put into my little, just, it's just one of these little travel containers. Look. And then, so if I had more, I would use a whisk just for a finer texture. But 
And that's our first go at making a skin moisturizer. Thanks for watching.